My purpose for this tutorial is to show you how to access iTunes U courses and content via the iTunes application on either your Mac or your PC. And it turns out that accessing iTunes U content and courses is pretty easy. So before I show you how to do that, and I'll do that in a couple of different ways, I wanted to give you a sense of why it is that you might be asked to subscribe to an iTunes U course. So let me go into Safari, go into one of my online classes. This is my ethics class. And I'm not going to go into this in much detail, but I just wanted to give you a sense of what's here and what isn't here. So within Moodle, I have a section on important course documents, which includes the syllabus, the game plan, the study questions for the two exams. I have, I'm going to ignore the iTunes U section here for a second, a section on media for links to multimedia stuff that I want folks to complete at various places in the course. I have one minute arguments. These are all the discussion forums that correspond to the lectures in the class. There's a section on the exams uh, and the, they'll be taking the exams through Moodle. There's the essay guidelines, how to submit the essay. And one of the important things that's not here are the lectures. And the reason for that is all of our all of my lectures and all the lectures in the philosophy department are going to be located in the iTunes U version of the course. So basically all iTunes U is is the free educational arm of the iTunes store. And through iTunes U courses that instructors create, it makes it very easy for students enrolled in their classes to access their lectures, lecture notes, and other material uh, that they want to make available. So at UNO, we don't upload our multimedia lectures within Moodle. Instead, we've got them on some other server. And in the case of iTunes U courses, these are going to be stored remotely through Apple, um, which is rather nice for a place like us who's prone to nasty storms. So we'll never have to worry about, or you'll never have to worry about your lectures going away or disappearing. They'll, they'll always be available through iTunes U. In any event, there are a couple of ways in which you can access the iTunes U version of your course. One of them is going to be through, say, a link that your instructor provides, as, as I do here. But before you can access any of the content, you absolutely have to have the uh, iTunes application installed. Now, all Macs have it already installed. So if you don't have it installed, that means you have a PC, and it's pretty easy to get the iTunes application. All you have to do is type in, say, download iTunes. Uh, something like this will come up. It'll take you to the iTunes place at the Apple Store. And you can download the new version, and the new version is uh, version 11, which is free for either a Mac or a PC. And in fact, if you don't have version 11, then I recommend, and you're using a Mac, I'd recommend that you get the latest version. Um, so first, you got to download. You have to download iTunes. Uh, download iTunes, install it, and then let's go back to our course here, or our sample course. And what I've done is I supply a link to what is essentially an HTML page that corresponds to the iTunes U course. And the reason why it's possible is when, oops, I want to go here, is when uh, instructors create iTunes U courses, one of the things that they can do is share the course. And all you have to do, for instance, for one of these classes I've created, you click on the little share um, button here and a URL shows up. All you have to, all, all an instructor has to do is copy this URL and paste it into Moodle for a direct link to the to an HTML version of their course, or they can send this link via email. And if you open the email on a computer, it's going to do the same thing as what will happen here when I click on this link within Moodle. So your instructor may have supplied a direct link to you to the course so that you can subscribe to it. Um, or there may be a link here within Moodle. Either way, if you click on this link, what will happen is since I have iTunes installed, you'll see that this is essentially uh, an HTML page. This isn't all of the course material, although it turns out you can actually ac access course material from here. Um, you can stream the lectures, but in order to actually access the lecture notes, the f those files need to be downloaded. So rather than accessing course material simply by streaming it here, what I tell you is to click on this link that says View in iTunes. And when you click on this, iTunes is going to open up. Okay, it's opening up, going to the iTunes store, and then loading, loading, loading. <laughs> 
finally, it takes you to the course page at the iTunes U location uh, for your class. So this isn't an HTML page. This is actually within uh, the iTunes application on your computer. So in order to access course content, again, you can stream it, or at least the lectures from here, but the easiest thing for you to do, and notice what you have here, you've got a description of the course, you have the course outline, you have uh, all the materials, in this case, arranged more or less in the order in which the material needs to be completed. Um, the easier way to access the material, however, is gonna to be to click on subscribe. So you click on subscribe, and a little window pops up letting you know that there may be materials within the course that you may be required to purchase. In my case, that'll never happen. Uh, I may supply links to TV episodes or movies that are available for purchase or rent through the iTunes store, but you'll never have to purchase anything as such. In any event, you click OK, and notice it says downloading one item. Let it download. But nothing else has changed, right? So the download little window here is, has gone back to normal. What's happened is that the what's been downloaded is the iTunes U course within what's called the iTunes U library um, here within the iTunes application. And to access it, since I've just subscribed to my ethics class, you click on library. And what <laughs> you see here is some of my music. So this is my music library. That's the default library that shows up. All you have to do is click on libraries over here and scroll down to iTunes U and the course to which we just subscribed now shows up. And this is all that displays. Notice I've got the list of the course and I've got a list of items, of materials for the class. Unfortunately, uh, instructors don't have any control about how the materials display here within iTunes. Now, instructors do have control about how the materials display using the iTunes U app for a mobile device like an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod. So what you've got here is essentially just a list of materials. In order to access any of the materials, what you're gonna to need to do is to click on these downward arrows in order to download it. So whereas before you could access lectures by streaming it, here you're gonna be accessing lectures by downloading it. And lecture notes, in the case of the philosophy department, are I, I will be a single PDF of all of the slides contained in the lecture. And in the case of the philosophy department, all of the lectures are what are called enhanced podcasts. These are audio files synced with slides of text. So that, and this is the main advantage of using iTunes on a PC or a computer or a Mac, is that when you click on play, and I'll show you how to do that, um, the lecture plays like a movie. You just sort of sit back and watch it and the slides will change as the lecture continues. Uh, that won't happen when you're using an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod. It, unfortunately, iTunes U isn't set up that way, but you can always follow along with the notes version of the slides so that you can be, hear you can be hearing the lecture as you're, as you're following through the slides. In any event, uh, we've su subscribed to the class, but now we actually have to download content. So I'm gonna download a lecture that's not terribly long. In this case, you can see the status of a downloading uh, it's got four minutes remaining. So in the meantime, while this is downloading, uh, what I'm going to do is go back to uh, that is to show you another way of accessing uh, course content through uh, iTunes U. In fact, I'm going to show you the, the, the quickest way. Go back into Safari. Let me uh, get rid of this. I don't need to be there. Go to uh, the University of New Orleans homepage. So this is UNO's homepage. You can quickly get to the iTunes U courses offered through UNO by scrolling down to the bottom of the UNO homepage, click on this Stay Connected, or at least that is specifically click on iTunes U here within this box called Stay Connected, and let that open. Since I already have iTunes installed, what happens is iTunes opens up, and what it, where you've been taken is to UNO's space at iTunes U. So what you see here is a list of all the courses that UNO offers. In fact, I've got the window open so much that all of the courses literally are here. If I scroll, if I can close this, there we go. Um, and 
currently UN only has what nine classes offered through iTunes U. So if your window weren't quite so big as mine was, and you see literally all of the classes, you can if you don't see the course to which you need to subscribe, you just simply click see all, and what will open up is a window with all of UNO's iTunes U courses. Letting it. There we go. So the way you subscribe to a class, we've already done it once through the direct link supplied, say, within Moodle or through an email. I'll subscribe to another class. Let's say my Philosophy of Mind class. You click on the class, and like before, uh, you're within iTunes, right? So all you need to do is click Subscribe. And again, the window pops up, letting you know there may be materials in here which you need to purchase, uh, which you won't. Uh, click OK. And notice it's downloading what item? Actually, it's still downloading that other lecture. But what's downloading a second item and that's over. All right, it happens really fast. So let's go back into our iTunes U library um, and see where the status of the download is. Go to library, go to iTunes U. And notice that we've now subscribed to two classes, the ethics class and uh, the philosophy of mind class. So I was downloading lecture. The lecture, you can tell by the little status and that little round circle that it's almost completed downloading. So while that continues to download, in fact, I'm also going to download, I, I have access to the notes already. Yes, all right, so let me, those download really fast. Let me get out of this. It's done. There, all right, so once it's finished downloading, that little gray dot uh, disappears and the little blue dot uh, appears and the blue here represents that 100% of the lecture uh, needs to be completed that you haven't completed any part of it now in order to uh, play the lecture all you have to do is double click on the image that corresponds to, to the title slide now, now I'm gonna pause that for a second notice that what happened is I double clicked on it uh, and, and within the playback area up here at the top of the window you get some options you can move the, the head to a specific point in the lecture. Um, you can adjust the volume, you can go fast forward, you can go back, you know, whatever. You can, and I had paused it, which is why it's got play here. Um, but at least in the case of the philosophy department, our lectures are created through GarageBand, which means that they're enhanced podcasts. That isn't the only way to create a podcast, but in order to take full advantage of the way in which these, at least the philosophy lectures are created, you want to play it like a movie. And to do that, all you have to do is um, click on, or I should say, put your mouse over the image that corresponds to the title slide of that lecture. Um, hold down the command key and and click, <laughs> and, and it pops up in its own window. So the audio had been going, so I'm going to continue the audio here. So just, just bear with me. The final lecture. Uh, All right. Philosophy 2201 Ethics. The uh, subject of today's lecture is to discuss the movie Gladiator and to wrap up some end of semester stuff and then uh, to let you go so let's turn our attention to a slide you've already seen all right i'm not going to read through all this all right so uh sorry about that but the idea is that as you're watching the lecture the slides will change because everything's everything's synced with the narration so the new version of itunes initially wouldn't allow us to view our lectures this way but um they can't you can now so this is how you access iTunes U content from a direct link, say within Moodle or a direct link via an email. I've shown you how to access iTunes U content from the UNO homepage. All you have to do is you click on iTunes U there at the bottom right. Another way of accessing iTunes U content, just to show you, is to click on the iTunes store and click on, in fact, let's go to the home on the iTunes store so you can see what the iTunes store looks like. All right, so you're in the iTunes store. Click on iTunes U, and what you get here is a list of the top courses. Turns out we're doing pretty well right now. Uh, you can search for specific courses in specific categories by clicking, you know, specific categories like philosophy, business, history, and so on. Um, you can scroll down. There are a variety of ways in which you know these courses are grouped. But to get to, to you in those classes, what you need to do is to click on colleges and universities, or universities and colleges, and then it loads. 
And all you have to do is scroll down to the University of New Orleans, which can take a bit, University of New Orleans. Click on it. And it takes you to that page that the link at the bottom of the UNO homepage takes you to, which is essentially UNO's uh, place at iTunes U with all of the course offerings. And if I expand my window a bit, you can see them all here. So as iTunes U courses are developed, they'll appear here in order to find your course. Because in some cases, there may be more than one version of a particular class. Like, for instance, here is my introduction to philosophy, although you can't tell just by looking at it who did it. Uh, here is one of my colleagues' introductions to philosophy. So in order to know for sure what course you need to subscribe to, um, well, you'll probably get a direct link from your instructor just to eliminate any ambiguity here. Now, I wanted to show you something else. Uh, go into Safari, go into iTunes U, Course Manager, and go into, say, Philosophy of Mind. Just click on it. When an instructor creates a class, he's, he or she is really creating a course that's really meant to be accessed through the iTunes U app for a mobile device because you see a whole lot more content and structure when you're using the iTunes U app on a mobile device than you ever would just using iTunes on your Mac or your PC. So the instructor, when he creates or she creates the class, uh, you've got the course description, you've got the instructor link, you've got the outline, which will be a way of breaking up all the course material and so on. But where most of the work is being done and the main advantage of the iTunes U app and mobile devices is going to be through the posts because the instructor can organize all of the course material into specific posts where you have a specific reading, say, that needs to be completed before a specific lecture. And the iTunes U app for mobile devices makes it pretty easy for you to listen to lectures while you're, you're driving in your car, you're walking, you're on the treadmill or whatever. Um, so I'm not trying to encourage you necessarily to get a, a mobile device to access content. How you access content is up to you. And there are tutorials from the UNO's uh, YouTube page uh, which will show you how to access your iTunes U content from either uh, your iPad or from your iPhone or iPod because it's essentially the same thing. In any event, let me get out of this. If anyone has any questions or problems accessing iTunes U content, I encourage you to uh, send me an email at philosophy here at uno.edu or because I'm one of the site administrators for iTunes U, you can also send it to itunes at uno.edu. Thank you.